The helicopter was once a dream that many thought would never work in combat. But starting in 1942, the US military began a journey that would change the face of the sky forever. This video covers every major US military helicopter from initial development to current operation, starting with early observation helicopters. Sikorsky R4. This is where it all began, the world's first mass-produced helicopter. While it only had a 165 horsepower engine and a body made of fabric, it proved that vertical flight was finally a reality. Sikorsky R5. The R4 was just the start, but the R5 was the upgrade. Built for better performance, it became the backbone of search and rescue in the late 1940s, housing two crew members in an enclosed cabin. Sikorsky R6. As the military realized helicopters could be scouts, they developed the R6. It was smaller and more agile than the R5, designed specifically to go where others couldn't for tactical reconnaissance. Bell H-13 Su. You might recognize this bubble front icon from MASH. With its open framework and external litters, it saved thousands of lives during the Korean War. Hiller H-23 Raven. Competition breeds excellence, and the Raven was the H-13's direct rival. It offered an enclosed cabin for better protection, making it a favorite for army training and liaison duties. Moving to utility helicopters, Sikorsky H-19 Chickasaw. The military needed more than just scouts. They needed muscle. The Chickasaw was the first true utility beast, capable of carrying 10 fully equipped troops with its massive nose-mounted engine. Piaseki H-21 Shawnee known as the Flying Banana due to its curved shape. This tandem rotor design was built for the Arctic and the early days of Vietnam, carrying up to 20 troops at once. Sikorsky H-34 Choctaw. This was the bridge between the old piston engines and the future of turbines. It was a workhorse for the Marines, serving as the primary vehicle for amphibious assaults. Bell UH-1 Iroquois. This is the most recognizable helicopter in history. With over 16,000 produced, the Huey did it all, from hauling troops into hot zones to serving as a deadly gunship. Bell UH-1N Twin Huey. To make the Huey safer, they added a second engine. This meant that if one engine failed, the crew could still keep flying, a feature the Marines and Air Force relied on for VIP transport. Bell UH-1Y Venom. The Huey lives on today through the Venom. With four rotor blades and a digital glass cockpit, it's a modern high-tech warrior that flies alongside the newest attack helicopters. Moving to heavy lifters and modern workhorses. Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk. In the late 70s, the Army needed a successor to the Huey. The Black Hawk was the answer, designed to be incredibly crashworthy while hauling 11 troops into the heart of the battlefield. Sikorsky MH-60 Pave Hawk. When pilots go down behind enemy lines, the Pave Hawk goes in to get them. With its massive fuel tanks and all-weather sensors, it's the Air Force's premier rescue platform. Sikorsky HH-60 Jayhawk. The Coast Guard takes the Black Hawk to the sea. This version is optimized for the brutal conditions of the ocean, launching from cutters to save lives in the deep. Boeing CH-46 Sea Knight. For over 40 years, the Marines relied on this tandem rotor Frog to rush 25 troops from ship to shore using its rapid-loading rear ramp. Boeing CH-47 Chinook. Since 1962, the Chinook has been the king of heavy lift. Its dual rotor design is so powerful, it doesn't even need a tail rotor, allowing it to carry a staggering 24,000 pounds of cargo. Boeing MH-47 Chinook. This is the special ops version. It features aerial refueling and advanced electronics, allowing it to fly deep into hostile territory for the Army's most elite units. Sikorsky CH-53 Sea Stallion. The Marines needed to move even more weight, so they built the Sea Stallion. This three-engine beast could carry 38 troops or 20,000 pounds of external gear. Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion. They added more power and a seventh rotor blade to create the Super Stallion. It can lift a massive 36,000 pound payload, making it the primary heavy lifter for the Corps. Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion. This is the latest evolution, featuring composite blades and next-gen engines. Entering service in 2021, it represents the absolute peak of heavy lift technology. If you've watched this far, I'm guessing you found this helpful. Give the video a like so it can help someone else too. And let me know what you want to see next in the comments below.
Moving to the attack predators. Bell AH-1 Cobra, the world's first dedicated attack helicopter. Its slim design and tandem seating were built to give enemies the smallest target possible while providing lethal fire support. Bell AH-1W Super Cobra. The Marines took the Cobra and added twin-engine reliability. It served as their primary air support from 1986 until very recently. Bell AH-1Z Viper, the ultimate evolution of the Cobra. With a four-blade rotor system and upgraded weapons, it's a high altitude altitude predator used exclusively by Marine attack squadrons. Boeing AH-64 Apache, the Army's primary tank killer. Its sensors allow it to hunt in total darkness, with the pilot sitting high above the gunner for maximum visibility. Boeing AH-64D Apache Longbow. You can spot this variant by the radar dome above the rotor mast. This system lets the Apache detect and engage multiple targets from beyond visual range. Boeing AH-64E Apache Guardian the modern standard. This version uses Link 16 data links to share targeting data instantly with ground troops and other aircraft. Moving to recon, training and special ops. Bell OH-58 Kiowa, a legendary scout. Its mast-mounted sight allowed it to stay hidden behind trees while watching the enemy from afar. It finally retired in 2017. Bell OH-58D Kiowa, warrior. This variant turned the Scout into a fighter, adding rockets and guns to its sensor suite for missions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sikorsky H-37 Mojave An early heavy lifter with a unique look. Its twin engines were housed in pods on the sides of the fuselage. Sikorsky CH-54 Tahe, Known as the Sky Crane, this helicopter had no traditional cabin. It was just a cockpit and a frame designed to carry 20,000-pound loads or recover downed aircraft. Boeing Vertol CH-46 Sea Knight, a medium lift icon for the Navy and Marine Corps, known for its incredible stability during shipboard landings. Cayman HH-43 Husky, a unique intermeshing rotor design that didn't need a tail rotor. It was the Air Force's primary tool for airfield firefighting and rescue. Bell TH-57 Sea Ranger. For decades, this was the first helicopter Navy and Marine pilots ever flew. Eurocopter TH-67 Creek. The Army used this commercial-based design to train its rotary wing pilots from the 90s all the way through 2020. Airbus UH-72 Lakota. This light utility helicopter handles everything from homeland security to National Guard disaster response. Sikorsky MH-53 Pave Low the heavy hitter of special ops. These massive machines used advanced navigation to fly low-level missions in total darkness until 2008. Sikorsky MH-60 Blackhawk variants. Specially modified versions of the Blackhawk serve our most elite units with enhanced defensive systems and long-range tanks. Sikorsky MH-60SR Nighthawk and Seahawk, the Navy's multi-tool. One handles cargo in special warfare, while the Romeo variant hunts submarines with advanced sensors. Sikorsky MH-53E Sea Dragon. This three-engine monster tows massive mine-sweeping equipment through the water to keep shipping lanes safe. Moving to the future and experimental prototypes, Sikorsky S-67 Blackhawk, a 1970s experiment in high-speed attack helicopters that broke records but never went into production. Piaseki VZ-8 Air Geep, a bizarre flying jeep using ducted rotors. It was meant for soldier reconnaissance, but testing showed it wasn't quite ready for the battlefield. Belfine 15, the proof of concept for the tilt rotor. It showed you could take off like a helicopter and fly like a plane. Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, the realization of the tilt rotor dream. It carries 24 troops faster and further than any conventional helicopter. Kamen K-Max, an unmanned cargo drone that proved its worth by autonomously resupplying troops in Afghanistan. Sikorsky X-2, a pusher propeller experiment that shattered speed records, hitting over 250 knots. Sikorsky S-97 Raider, using rigid coaxial rotors, this prototype is designed to be the future of light reconnaissance. Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant, a high-speed compound helicopter that competed for the Army's future vertical lift program. Bell V-280 Valor, the winner. This tilt rotor is set to become the Army's next long-range assault aircraft, flying at an incredible 280 knots. If you're still here, you're a legend. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one.